Hey YouTube, this is allaboutandroids.com. Last week I showed you guys Eagle's Blood Build 2 for the LG G2X. It was still in the beta stage and um, actually today we have the full version. So March 10th, uh, the full version Build 2 was released. It basically contains uh, the same from the beta with additional fixes and improvements. A couple of changes in this build include the normal Eagle's Blood tweak. So you get the Eagle's Blood launcher. Uh, haven't it hasn't changed much since the version one, but still um, Definitely in the future. We will get some more tweaks such as a quad uh, lock screen uh, The developer Donique has already mentioned the uh, lock screen um, options, which will show up soon um, Also, all the apps are zip aligned as soon as you boot up your phone It will show optimizing and it will basically count all of your apps and basically set it So that it runs smoother as throughout your usage um in terms of the UI, I did notice it is slightly less laggy. You can see it's pretty smooth, no uh, delay in responsiveness. Um, the small issue is here when you switch to the widgets. But again, once you load all the widgets, it is crystal clear and nice, buttery smooth. Um, in terms of file system, it is an EXT4 file system. And uh, basically, uh, the developer applied some tweaks and tune-ups, making it slightly uh, faster to access files and Basically, when you're transferring um, files within your uh, phone, so when you're using a file explorer, copying files from one section to another section, it is smoother. And also, when you access some apps, they do um, respond slightly faster. As for Wi-Fi calling, um, I cannot use that since I'm in Canada. But uh, for those that do use it, um, the issues still have not been fixed. There are many issues because of the um, Cyanogen Mod 9 build, so we have to watch out for that. It is still being fixed. But uh, this build does include uh, GAN optimization. I'm not too 100% what that does, but uh, with some research, it indicates that it sets your Wi-Fi into a um, high performance mode. Basically, I'm guessing overclocking your radio frequency to capture a higher Wi-Fi range and basically causing it to have less um, lag when you call. Uh, the issues for the... Um, Wi-Fi calling are some users cannot call but can receive calls. Some other users are, are able to call, but they can't um, send MMS or SMS. So there are still some issues, CM9 related, but uh, I hope that it will get fixed in the future. Uh, the camcorder issue is still around. So uh, I've, I've, always, I've always tested that all the time. So camera, I got camera 360, bunch of apps, trying them out. They still crash in uh, camcorder mode when you're trying to record a video. Again, this is only because there's no drivers. Um, we'll just have to wait until the official LG um, ICS release. And a quick heads up, it is not for the T-Mobile version. It is only for the Optimus 2X. And uh, big chance it will get ported over to this device. So no issues there. Um, again, last week I showed you guys um, under settings and uh, performance. So we have an I.O. scheduler right now. You can choose up to five different modes and you can choose one for the um, internal memory as well as one for your SD card. So that's kind of nice. You can play around and see which one suits your uh, needs. And you know, it will um, help definitely in terms of usage. Um, the email APK, so the normal email app, which is um, right here, it has been tweaked slightly. It has an option to basically select all emails as read. So that's kind of nice uh, in case you have like 20 emails and they're all just sales and ads. You just want to get rid of them so that it doesn't show on your inbox. You can just run that and it will make all of them as read. That's basically all for this build. Um, I'm expecting a lot in the future. So um, definitely I'll keep you guys updated on what gets released. Um, this was all about androids.com. I hope you liked the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll get some more stuff for you guys. Uh, we also have a Twitter, a Facebook, and a Google Plus account. So please add us there as well. Thanks again.